guys, so I asked you on Instagram if you wanted to do a Q&A. Actually, I didn't ask you if you wanted to do a Q&A. I asked you for questions for Q&A. So, I got a ton of questions and I figured I would film it for you. I haven't done a Q&A or sat down with you guys in a hot minute. So I figured I would film this and post it tonight, get a little video out for you guys because mama's been slacking, even though I keep saying I'm gonna stop slacking, I keep slacking. That's a problem. Okay, so let's hop into some of these questions on Instagram. There are so many. All right, don't mind the crazy overline lips today. I have hair stuck, stuck to my face. I was doing lip liner and I went crazy with lip liner and couldn't fix it. And then I went in with this and this is uh, the Tardis lip paint in Bestie. And I got a little crazy with the lips. So my lips look extra big today. Okay, so first question comes from Orly112, Oily Skin, did you recommend chemical exfoliation or physical exfoliation, and how often any products in particular? Okay, so they're both very, very different, chemical and physical. Me, personally, for my feet, I prefer chemical, and for my face, physical. I really like the, um, I think it was Dr. Brand, the uh, microderm abrasion that we got in last month's BoxyCharm, uh, February BoxyCharm actually. I really love that. You can exfoliate like every three days or so. You shouldn't really do it more than that because you can do more damage than good and you can burst vessels on your face. No bueno, that's not good. Um, I have had chemical peels in the past and I do love them. I like the TCA 20% peel and I uh, like glycolic peels, but it really just depends on your desire and what you're looking to get out of it. It does help with skin texture and uh, like age spots on your skin. Oh, and dullness. It helps with dullness. <laughs> Said Hannah, do what's your go-to dry shampoo? That would be Batiste. Definitely a big fan of Batiste. I like the chlorine, but I ran out and it's kind of pricey. Right now I'm using, where is it? It's back there. Wait, no, it's right here. What am I talking about? Ha ha. I love using the Amica dry shampoo. It's the Perk It Up dry shampoo. I love this. This is what I've been using actively right now. So it's kind of pricey though. Your best, ball, your best bet is going to Marshalls and getting Batiste. I think you could pay like $5 for it or $4, something like that. Okay, next question is for JM Bear DCHI. If a movie were to be made about your life, what actress would you want to play you? Oh my goodness. Um, I would love Drew Barrymore to play me, honestly, because I think she's quirky and funny and I like her. But I think I would probably get that other one, the one that's from Rockville Center. What's her name? Um, Amy Schumer. I have heard very often that I look like Amy Schumer and um, yeah. So it'll probably be her. Erin's Makeup Euphoria. When, would you hang, when are you gonna hang out with me and Young Wild and Polish? We would love to. Well, I believe my eyeball is driving me crazy. Um, I'm gonna be at IMAX uh, New York City on Saturday. I think it's April 8th or 9th. I don't know, I'll put it down below. I forget what the date is, but I'm gonna be there that Saturday. So I'll see you guys then. Nicole already talked to me about that. Duh. Um, Club Break with Danny. If you could pick anyone in the entire world to be your Beffroni, who would you pick and why is she so amazing? <gasps> oh, Danny, you know you're my Beffroni girl. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, visiting Danny soon. In a few weeks, actually. Yay! Okay, enough of that. Nicole, <laughs> Young Wild Polish. On a scale from one to 10, how much do you miss me? Say 10 or die. Nicole, that's very violent of you, but I expect nothing less. I will see what I'm at, little brat. Marie Beauty, will YouTube ever be your full-time job? No, it will not. <laughs> That's just a fact of life. Unless some miraculous thing happens and like, I don't know, one of my YouTube videos goes viral, YouTube's never gonna be my career. It's just the way it is. It's part-time. I do make some money off of it, yay for me, but um, it's never gonna be my full-time job. I do have a full-time job. And that's life. Makeup and nails by Jazz. How do you feel so confident when posting pictures being plus sized? I don't know if that's supposed to be a real question or an insult. Let's hope it's a real question. You gotta love yourself, girl. That's it. It doesn't matter the size of your body, you know? It's just, you have to love yourself. And that's, that's it. <laughs> um, I'm too old to not be confident. You know, if, if somebody doesn't like the way I look, then they can go fuck off honestly, and that's it. I don't tolerate any crap from anybody. Okay, Sam Bowen42, makeup related. What's your favorite setting spray? Personal, what's your favorite movie? Okay, favorite setting spray. 
I don't really use one a whole lot. If I had to choose one, I'd probably go with D-Slick from Urban Decay. And my favorite movie, one of my all-time favorite movies is The Money Pit with Tom Hanks. It's so, so funny. It's from the 80s. It's amazing. I love it. It's my favorite movie. Winter Love 10, what did you like, not like about the Fifty Shades Darker movie? You know, honestly, guys, I was thinking about making this, like, its own video, but I know I'd probably lose like half my subscribers if I talk about Fifty Shades. I felt a lot of the character development from the book wasn't put into the movie, so a lot of it didn't make sense. Plus, in the movie, Christian never even says I love you once. He says it like five million times in the book. So I don't know if this is some Nicholas Sparks bullshit, but really the they took a lot out of the book that should have been in the movie to make it make sense. It just doesn't make sense. If you never read the book, the movie's great. It's fine. It's softcore porn, essentially, and, you know, a weak plot. But if you love the book, then the movie was pretty disappointing, in my opinion. Plus, Jamie Dornan, no. No, you are not Christian Grey. Anywho, bar at 19.6800. Hi, Sam, your hair is getting so long. Love it. Will you adopt another cat in the future? Oh, thank you, bar. Um, okay, so this is the dilemma. We have this big house, and we always said that if we got a big house, that we would adopt two more cats, like two kittens from the same litter. But the problem is, is that we're really very nervous about introducing two cats into the dynamic because there's two humans in the house and two cats in the house. So there's just an equal divide and equal attention. I'm scared about disturbing the chemistry between my two cats by introducing more cats. So maybe in the future, but I'm not set on it, to be honest. Cats Cast 24, you just want an all expenses trip to anywhere, but you can only take one small bag. What skincare and beauty items do you grab and why? First of all, where's the uh, all expense paid trip? I'm hoping it's like Bali or Tahiti or something like that. Um, what do I grab? For skincare, I honestly just grab my, um, like my Maybelline wipes and a moisturizer, maybe the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'd grab that. And as far as beauty items, I don't know. I would grab like brow gel, mascara, and concealer and be done with it. I wouldn't go crazy, really. Maybe some lashes. Yeah, you need lashes like mascara. Mascara's fine. That's enough. Okay, Ali do is win, win, win. Who's your favorite superhero? <gasps> My favorite superhero. Oh, Wolverine. I am a Wolverine person. Have you guys ever seen that meme where it's like Superman, there's like five Supermans, and then Batman, there's five Batmans, and then Wolverine, it's all Hugh Jackman. I mean, really. If you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Marvel comic nerd. I re I've read so many comics. My brother was a comic fan and uh, I grew up stealing his comics and reading Marvel. If we're going to go for DC Comics, I guess Superman, but like not really. I'm more of a Marvel fan myself, but uh, uh, Wolverine, <laughs> he's amazing. If I wanted to be a superhero, I'd probably be Jean Grey, except for like the crazy shit. I wouldn't be insane. Oh, so got a wifey. What's a palette that is your go-to? What kind of brushes do you like best, Morphe or Sigma? I don't like Morphe brushes. I don't have any Morphe brushes. Well, actually, I have a bunch of Morphe brushes, but I never, ever use them. Um, I would gravitate towards Sigma. And honestly, guys, I always gravitate towards my Hakahoda brushes. And if you're going to, you can get, like, you can get Hakahoda brushes the same cost as you can get Sigma brushes, honestly, if you go on the website. And um, my go-to palette is probably my MAC palette that I made that I chose. I can like poke myself. Um, the MAC palette that I made that I chose all of my MAC shadows. So, you know, that's, that's going to be my go-to, like this one. You know, like if I'm going to go to a palette go-to, it's going to be this. It's going to be all my MAC shadows. Um, in the end, that's boss, baby. Boss, baby. All right. K-Y-M with a four. Okay, Kim with a four. Kim with a four. Describe yourself in five words. I don't know how to. <laughs> five words. I have no idea. Um, I'm loyal. I'm funny. I'm smart. I'm diligent. And I'm punctual. There you go. Highlight Tree Beauty. What kind of car do you drive? I drive a Nissan Altima. 
because it's got great mileage and it's not too expensive. Um, Sasha uh, Set T, Set C, Sasha Set, you know who you are, Sasha. Um, could you be any cuter? Oh, Sasha! No, you are the cutest. That's why my mom loves you. Um, are you headed to IMAX New York City this year? Yes, I am, as I said before. I'm just going to be there Saturday. Um, I have a little kind of meetup-y kind of thing, just like a get-together in a booth, so I'm going to be talking about that closer to IMATS, um, so I don't want to talk about that yet, but I will be at IMATS on that Saturday. Um, okay, Ken Simzadi, uh, if not too personal, how did you and the hubby meet, and when did you know he was the one? I've told this story before in my other Q&As. I'm going to link them all below. I believe I have a playlist. Me and my hubby met on MySpace. He sent me a message along with a bunch of other girls, and I'm the only idiot that responded. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Um, no, that's true. I knew pretty quickly. I just knew that we clicked and our first date we met at a diner and he called me the next day and was like, hey, do you want to go to the beach? And the next day he was like, hey, you want to go get dinner? There was no bullshit. There was no games. It was just, he put himself right out there and there was no games. And I just knew. And we legit saw each other every single day for like the first year, like a long time. So, I just knew. You just know. You just know when you know. Uh, Molly A. Sailor, when are you and Danny going to get together again? Can you vlog the next time you're together? Yes, we are definitely vlogging, and I will be seeing Danny in a little over two weeks, actually. So, I am uber excited. Um, ESP Bang says, what is your career? I work for a plastic surgeon, and yes, I work for a plastic surgeon. And I've been doing that for, <laughs> like... I don't know. I've been with my company 17 years. I've worked with him for like 14 of them. A long time. Hilla Killa. Tell us about your cats. When did you get them? What are their names, ages, etc.? My cats, Harley and Lily. Harley is about eight. Lil, little Lily is five. I adopted them both. Harley I adopted from a friend from high school. And Little I adopted from North Shore Animal League in Port Washington, Long Island. And um, Harley is a Maine Coon and Little is like a Russian blue house cat, essentially. Uh, I love them both to death. Um, Harley is my cuddle bug and Little is just my lab cat. I just love them and they fulfill my life in every way. MK Rampotich, if you were to collab with one brand, what would it be and what would be the collab? Huh, that's a good question. I think if I could collab with anybody, you know what? I would collab with BoxyCharm and I would custom make the items inside the box, if that would make sense. I love BoxyCharm, so yeah, I would definitely collab with them. Does that count as an answer? Um, fucking Abby, <laughs> can we like be best frenzies? <laughs> I'm sorry, that position is taken, but you could be my frenzy. How do you keep long distance friendships? I love yours and Danny's relationship. Okay, long distance friendships are not easy when you want that physical, um, like that physical immediate connection with your friend. Like sometimes you just need girl time and you need to like be there. But we see each other enough. Honestly, I see Danny more being long distance than I do friends that live here on Long Island. Um, we text every single day. Anytime we need her, she's there. And we just talk a lot on the phone and we text constantly. So really, I mean, with this day and age with texting and stuff, it's, it's the way it is. I mean, yeah, it's, we just stay close. We have a lot in common too. We're, we're ridiculous together. On the topic with M my V, um, what are your top three in makeup brands? Like they never let you down and do you hope to be able to do a YouTube full time one day? Again, I answered the question about YouTube already. Never going to happen for me, but that's okay. No hate. Um, my top three makeup brands are probably Mac, Too Faced, Makeup Forever. I mean, those are three that I can't live without. You know what? I could live. I could live without Makeup Forever. Um, Serenity Scott, probably, because um, they have my Holy Grail powder. Oh, that's just not a fair question. That question gives me anxiety. Okay, Robin J. Amart. Hey, lovely. Are there certain colors, palettes, lip colors you gravitate towards for everyday looks? Since your hair color has changed a bit, my color is the same as yours, but I used to be a brunette. I feel like my old faves clash. Because I changed my hair to red. 
I had to lay off some of the cool tones a little bit and I started using more warm tone palettes more often. Like, uh, let me see if I can pull one out. Like palettes like the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette is very, very warm and it goes with my skin a lot better. And I haven't been using like my NYX Blush and Taupe as often as I used to because I think the warm tones like match a little bit better with the hair. Um, so I've just been warming it up a little bit lately, uh, more lately. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep the red. I know that's gonna break some hearts, but, and, and you know, it's, Danny's gonna give me shit about it, but um, the red is a lot of upkeep, and it's honestly like once a month going to the salon, and it's constantly fading, so it's a lot. So I might start integrating some blonde back in. Yeah, I just, I, I can't with this red. It's just so difficult. Cara Sicardi, what do you see yourself doing after YouTube? Well, honestly, because it's not my full-time job, it's not that big of a deal. But I love YouTube, but I have backed off YouTube a lot over the last four months because I've just been so busy with my job. And uh, I don't think I'll ever really quit YouTube until I just can't anymore and I can't justify it. Uh, I still love it and I still make money and I still have a love for makeup. So it's justifiable right now. But if any of those things change, then I will stop YouTube and I'll just continue with other hobbies like painting. I love painting. BK Roth 823, favorite makeup look, what do you do for work? Uh, did you go to college? Yes, I went to college. I went to NASA Community College and SUNY O. Westbury. My major was in psychology and my minor was in business management. And um, my favorite makeup look, anything with glitter. Honestly, glitter me up. Remos, how do you see yourself five years from now and 10 years from now? Five years from now, I, I don't know. I hope to be smarter and have more things, you know, like just, be better at things, be better at life, honestly. Um, I don't know, I feel like I sweat I sweat small things sometimes. I try not to, and I don't as much as I did when I was in my 20s, but I'm hoping to be, you know, like, got that under control. Um, 10 years from now, just happy and healthy. That's all I could want for. Um, Lene Love, what is your favorite sandwich from Subway? Well, somebody was watching my Snapchat. Yes, I have Subway a lot, I love Subway sandwiches. I've been getting the same sandwich for like 20 years, legit. I get a foot long. I used to get honey oat, but they got rid of honey oat. So now I just eat the wheat. I do a foot long wheat with um, turkey, no cheese, not toasted, lettuce, tomato, onion, sweet pepper, banana pepper, pickle, light mayo. That is it. That is my supper sandwich. Yeah. Some American grad advice to people in their 20s. You're gorgeous. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. People in their 20s, don't take life too seriously. I feel like people treat things like they're life or death and most things aren't. So try to just make your choices uh, to gear towards your happiness. You know, like do things that make you happy. Yes, we all have to make money. Yes, we all have to work. So I mean, little sacrifices have to be made, but try to remember that your happiness is very important and shouldn't uh, lay by the wayside. Also, she asked your favorite and least favorite parts of living in New York, and if you had to live somewhere else, where would it be? Um, honestly, I visited Texas so much visiting Danny, and it's beautiful there. I wouldn't mind living there or living down somewhere, North Carolina or something. I don't know. Uh, there's some beautiful places everywhere. I mean, I've, I've traveled all over, and I just... The worst part of living in New York is the cost of living. You have access to everything. Everything you can imagine is here. Like everything is here, every store, everything. So that's amazing and I have full access to stuff, but the cost of living is so expensive. I mean, my property taxes alone, oh, you know, like, it's crazy. My property taxes are legitimately 10 times more than my mom pays in North Carolina, 10 times, it's insane. So that's a really hard part of living in New York, but you get used to it. You get used to paying that, and I've never known anything but it. But eyeshadow palettes, palettes are must-have, and is Neutrogena New Foundation a good as it claims to be? Lastly, what is your perfect everyday lipstick? My perfect everyday lipstick is something nude, something um, like a mauve kind of nude, even like a lip gloss like this. This is uh, Dolly by uh, Buxom. I really like that. I really like something like I'm wearing right now, which is, again, um, Bestie by Tarte. Um, my must-have eyeshadow palettes, this, the Naked Basics, uh, the first one, is a must-have. 
you need that palette in your life. Also, what I was saying, this one, I really love this one as well. Um, the Naked 3, definite must-haves, which just fell in my drawer. Lastly, final question on Instagram, Cherry Trish, when are you coming to Toronto? You'd love it here. You have good food and good people. You know, I really want to come to Canada, and uh, I've really been thinking about it. I wanted to go to Montreal, and um, me and my husband are talking about trips upcoming, so you just never know when we're going to make our way over there, but I have... Um, I have thought about coming over to Canada. I also have a friend that lives in Montreal I would absolutely love to see. All right guys, so that is it. That is my uh, Q&A. I hope that was enough for you. Um, that was a lot of questions, a lot of questions. I need a sip. Mm. Does anybody else mix the raspberry tea and the lemonade from Subway? <laughs> okay, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. If I didn't get to your question or I missed it, I'm sorry. And uh, you can leave the question in the comment section below and I'll answer it. Um, I hope this allowed you guys to get to know me a little bit better. Be on the lookout. There will be, be some more videos on its way. I hope to post this tonight for you guys. And I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for subscribing and sticking by me. Okay. Bye, guys.